Hi everyone, it's Ben Nowak with Do It Molds, and today we're gonna to be talking about maintenance on your melter and what to do if the spout isn't pouring correctly. So step one, we're gonna be using fluxing compound, and this is what's gonna raise the impurities of your lead to the top. Uh, typically I'll start with an eighth of a teaspoon, but you can use more if you need to, especially if you're using wheel weights or unpure lead. So I like to use a small teaspoon, use about an eighth of a teaspoon and just pour it into your melter. You're gonna notice that it's fizzling. What this is doing is drawing the impurities of the melter to the top so that you can skim that off. That's gonna give you the cleanest, purest pour. After all that fluxing compound has been mixed in, you're gonna notice that there might be some more solid pieces rising to the top and we're gonna end up scraping that out or lifting that out with this ladle. Once it stops fizzing, I'll just take a ladle and I'm gonna skim off those impurities so I can have the best pour possible. Now that we've used the fluxing compound and removed the impurities, we're gonna talk about unclogging the spout. And this is a really common issue, especially if the pot's been sitting a little while or you're melting some of those harder wheel weights. Um, and what you're gonna need for this is a hook, a paper clip. In this case, we have a wire form, a pair of pliers, and definitely your safety equipment. You're gonna take that wire form, you're gonna bend it up like that, and then you're going to go into the spout. And once you're in the spout, you wanna have something that matches the diameter pretty closely. You're gonna push that up in there, wiggle it around, pull it out, and you'll notice now our lead's pouring out clean. 